Well, good morning. Good morning. Let's begin. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, your Son willingly endured the agony and shame of the cross for our redemption. Grant us courage to take up our cross daily and follow him wherever he leads. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The Old Testament reading for the 14th Sunday after Pentecost is from Jeremiah chapter 15. O Lord, you know, remember me and visit me and take vengeance from me on my persecutors. In your forbearance, take me not away. Know that for your sake I bear reproach. Your words were found and I ate them, and your words became to me a joy and the delight of my heart. For I am called by your name, O Lord, God of hosts. I did not sit in the company of revelers, nor did I rejoice. I sat alone, because your hand was upon me, for you had filled me with indignation. Why is my pain unceasing, my wound incurable, refusing to be healed? Will you be to me like a deceitful brook, like waters that fail? Therefore, thus says the Lord, if you return, I will restore you, and you shall stand before me. If you utter what is precious and not what is worthless, you shall be as my mouth. They shall turn to you, but you shall not turn to them. And I will make to you this people a fortified wall of bronze. They will fight against you. But they shall not prevail over you, for I am with you to save you and deliver you, declares the Lord. I will deliver you up out of the hand of the wicked and redeem you from the grasp of the ruthless. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The epistle is from Romans chapter 12. Let love be genuine, abhor what is evil, hold fast to what is good, love one another with brotherly affection, outdo one another in showing honor. Do not be slothful in zeal, be fervent in spirit, serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints and seek to show hospitality. Bless those who persecute you, bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice, weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Never be conceited. Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. To the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. For by doing so, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the uh, gospel reading is taken from Matthew 16. <clears throat> from that time, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things from the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed, and on the third day be raised. And Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him, saying, Far be it from you, Lord, this shall never happen to you. But he turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are a hindrance to me, for you are not setting your mind on the things of God, but on the things of man. Then Jesus told his disciples, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever... Whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and forfeits his life? Or what shall a man give in return for his life? For the Son of Man is going to come with his angels and the glory of his Father, and then he will repay each person according to what he has done. Truly I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, this uh, coming Monday is Labor Day, and basically it's uh, the whole weekend, right? Labor Day weekend, and on Labor Day weekend we take time out to honor um, the work and vocations uh, that we have been given in our lives. In thinking about that, with, with that in mind, I'd like you to think about the Lord's Labor Day, i.e. the Labor Day of creation, the Labor Day of his uh, winning for us salvation, uh, the Labor Day of his sending his spirit at Pentecost, right? Uh, the label, Labor Day every Lord's Day every Sunday as he comes to us not to be served but to serve and to to give us the benefits of his suffering death and resurrection his forgiveness his life and his peace 
And ultimately is Labor Day of judging the living and the dead. And he'll do that on the basis of what he has done. So what he has done is credited to you and me, and that's what's remem remembered uh, on Judgment Day in Christ, what our Lord has done, and that uh, uh, you uh, get the benefit of, of his work. You get credited for his work as his word has its way in your, in your life. So think about um, how, how different that is than when we usually think about things. We think about what we do. Uh, it's natural to think about uh, what uh, um, our work and be focused just on us. But really, in our text for today, we see the focus is all on what Jesus does. And quite frankly, Peter doesn't like what Jesus says he's going to do and, and tries to stop him as if he could. Um, but had Peter stopped him or had Jesus not done this work, we wouldn't be saved. And you think about how the truth is, for example, we had nothing to do with our own creation. We didn't exist, right? It was a gift of God. In the same way, we have nothing to do with our salvation because we all fall short of the glory of God. Jesus said, you must be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. But we're not perfect, but he is. And he came to do the work of restoring us, ultimately giving us his perfection. And then every Sunday morning, a lot of people think of, of, of worship as our work. It is not. It's the divine service. That's a Latin term. Divine means God, God's service to us. Jesus said, I've come not to be served, but to serve <clears throat> and to give my life as a ransom for many. So it's really our Lord at work here. And our Lord is at work in our lives out in the world as his word bears fruit in our lives, you know, like the fruit of love, joy, peace, patience, and self-control, and, and all of those things. That's the word of God at work in you. So my focus is this is the Lord's Labor Day as we come together on Sunday. And what do we do? Um, we have a day of rest and gladness. And that hymn actually kind of picks up on, on these very things that I was just talking about. But any thoughts on that? Yeah, I love it. Um, Peter obviously didn't want Jesus to do his work. Nope. The work that he was given to do to stop that labor. Um, and he was speaking the voice of Satan really at that time. And of course, Jesus rebuked Satan and said, get behind me uh, for you don't have thing, the, 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 the things of God, but the things of of men, Peter was essentially a theologian of glory, which means he wanted it all without the labor to be done. Um, he, and, and instead of a theologian of the cross, which knows that Jesus, his most glorious moment is when he suffers and dies on the cross on our behalf, um, that it is his work alone. It is by grace through faith that we're saved, not by our works. Um, so Jesus does the work on our behalf, as you said, so that we can rest in him. And Augustine said that, right? Um, our souls are restless until they rest in you, O Lord, knowing that he has done all the work on our behalf. Yeah, and it's just so, so um, it doesn't, that doesn't come naturally to us. We think we have to do something. And every other religion in the world is, is really about um, uh, an employer-employee <laughs> relationship, right? We have to do this work so that God will accept me. No, God, the true God is our Father who loves us with everything he is and everything he has. And he sends his son Jesus uh, to do the labor that is required for us to have life and together with him and one another. Notice yeah. that everywhere else, if you don't do your work, you're fired. Yes, yeah, right. <laughs> there was a show about that once, wasn't oh, there? Oh, yeah, you're the, fired, yeah. For the next president. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but God never fires us. Yeah. Our Father always loves us. And, um, and you think about, in terms of even, that just thought came to mind as parents, right? We, we work, and who benefits? Our children. Mm -hmm. And it's a labor of love. love. Yeah. yeah. So we don't... Uh, we don't give our kids a bill for what do they say? It's two hundred and fifty thousand after eighteen years. Sorry, Thomas. I think it's more than that. <laughs> it's probably more I think it's more than that. that. I think it, <laughs> I think it's higher. It's probably higher than that. Inflation, man. The inflation, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it, um, no, we don't do that because it's a labor of love, and we're icons of of the love of of God our Father. So uh, join us uh, this 
Labor Day weekend on, on Sunday at either 8 or 10.45. There is um, no, uh, no Bible service class. On, no Bible yeah. class this Sunday and no, no service on Monday night. But So join us at 8 or, and 10.45 to um, enjoy the rest and gladness that we have in Christ. Amen. All right. Um, I thought of our hymn would be um, uh, O Day of Rest and Gladness. And um, how about we do one through three? Okay. Okay. O day of rest and gladness, O day of joy and light, O balm of care and sadness, most beautiful, most bright. This day the high and lowly through ages join to bless. Sing holy, 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 the triune God confess. This day at earth's creation, the light first had its birth. This day for our salvation, Christ rose from depths of earth. This day our Lord victorious, the Spirit sent from heaven. And thus this day most glorious, a threefold light was given. This day God's people meeting, His holy scripture hear, His living presence greeting, through bread and wine made near. We journey on believing, renewed with heavenly might, from grace more grace receiving, on this blessed day of light. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance on you and give you peace. Amen. Amen. See you Sunday. Yeah.